Hey, what's up guys? It is day number four. Uh, we're about to go to Pritchard Canyon and do that. It's a little bittersweet. Um, things don't always go to plan. You can be prepared with parts and everything else, but sometimes it happens and shit has happened. H, what's, what's going on here? Broke, some broke. We don't know, we don't know what's going on. We're looking for an epiphany. Um, we just went onto one cylinder yesterday. Um, and we can't work out why I kept dropping a cylinder. So we changed the fuel pump. We've had three fuel pumps in it. We've changed the belt. We've changed the T-map. We have changed... All three T-maps. The Massa, Massa. Uh, we've changed the injectors twice. We've had new plugs in it. We have spark on both cylinders. We have fuel injection on both cylinders. Coil pack. Spraying nicely. Put a complete new coil pack on it. Um, fuel yeah, control we have, module. We have pinned out all of the wires from the injectors and the coils all the way back through to the ECU um, we put the new fuel control module on it and by the way John drove four hours from Moab to Salt Lake last night to pick that up and four hours back so it was an eight hour trip just and for us to plug it in in 10 seconds and go that didn't fix it either because you read on the 21s and laters about this fuel thing, it controls all the fuel. It seems as if it's just losing fuel, but I mean, three fuel pumps, a fuel controller, two sets of injectors, two sets of spark plugs. We've checked the fuel pressure. We've um, checked compression on it. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We have checked everything on this thing. And now I'm cutting up the wiring harness, even though I've already pinned out the harness. I'm cutting up the wiring harness and pulling the whole machine apart in the dirt to see if we can see anything stupid. At some point I've got to fix it, obviously. I don't believe I'll be riding it again here in Moab this time round, but... Well, the plan is, John and I are going to go do Pritchard Canyon right now, and then tomorrow I'm going to go ride my bike, and John and H are going to go do Pritchard Canyon again. H is going to drive my buggy, so we'll just, I mean... That was one of the main trails I think you wanted to do, so yeah, he'll get to so do it, and he'll he'll get to do it in like a really nice buggy, so rather than one that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the best buggy that he's built, he'll finally get to actually drive it, so it'll it'll work out for the best. Yeah, it'll be the highlight of your trip. Absolutely, that's gonna be it. <laughs> now, when I fix this, it'll be the highlight of my trip, but I'm not sure it's gonna happen. We've yeah. uh, we've exhausted everything, so called so many different people so many different Spoken opinions mechanics some and some great people as yeah well, yeah we've had really some really awesome bent help. over to try and help us but some really cool guys here too that have gone a long way to help us and uh i'm gonna go by there and do another little quick video with those guys but they have been phenomenal uh what's the name of the dealer dustin and it's um moab side by moab side, side by side and the guy there is Dustin and Jeff. Yeah. Dustin's been absolutely wonderful. They I mean, have been awesome. They have gone out of their way to, to try and help us diagnose yeah. it. They did the fuel, you know, they had the leak down tester and they had the fuel pressure tester and all sorts of stuff. So, um, yeah. All right. I know well, this is what we're left with, a pile of wires. So Yeah, it is what it is. We, it uh, is what it is. Things go wrong sometimes. Yep, yeah, they do. As many parts as you carry, sometimes it just doesn't work out. But yeah, we're going to head to Pritchett. Have fun, boys.
yeah, stuff like that. Like when you're, you know, you're when you're crawling and you, your your front or right or left or right tire gets kind of next to a rock and you can't move it. You know what I mean? You have to go wherever the tires tell you to go. With hydro, dude, it's just like straight up or whatever.
pretty good right here. Do what? Okay.
the top and then get up that. Once you get up this part, that's that's really nothing. You can kind of reset up there. done buddy yeah yeah when you let off that's the problem yeah, that's it yeah as soon as you let off you can that's it you're done you gotta back down i mean she just walked she walked right up there. it doesn't even make sense up here okay okay <laughs> so I, I take it until we get to the top where that guy is it just keeps getting a little bit more each time no actually that was the worst of it oh you're kidding awesome <laughs> Try it if you want. I'll, I'll sit here and watch. I've, I've watched you five, six, seven, eight roll ups, man. I've watched uh, probably like 50 roll ups. Right. I've watched it. Huh? I know me. I'll break. I know me. I'm, I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's still a good little climb up here. Uh, All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to save it for up, Chuck. I got to try to get up that. Get some redemption on that.
exactly. That was cool, man. That was fun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, tell H tomorrow. I'll tell him, but uh, he's more than welcome to try the uh, rock pile. Yeah, yeah, that was good, man. Oh, shit, my bad. I'm just glad we didn't break. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, now if we do, the only thing really is up chuck that would be possible, we, and you could get a truck down there. Are we going to try and go up white, whatever? Yeah. Are we really? I'll try. Yeah, you do. To the right. It levels out. You see the rock on your left and then that rock kind of farther up in center, but this whole right ledge is flat. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you broke just the drive shaft. I see it. 